I've told you guys before, I'm not a big fan of the police. I really do want to support them. I want to like them, but I simply can't. And it's not on me. It's on them. It's their actions or lack of actions that have forced me to come to this conclusion. And I'm not the only one either. The police in this country are practicing a two-tier system of justice. And that's because they have been corrupted. They have been infested by left-wing bigotry. These people they've recruited, who are now policemen and women, have brought with them the toxic culture and politics that is political correctness. You are more likely now to be arrested for using the wrong pronouns or criticising uh, the pro-Hamas free plasticine marches in London than you are for committing actual crime. I mean, let's look at the evidence here. They mob-handedly arrested Tommy Robinson for having an offensive breakfast, and then they banned him from London altogether for a few months. And while this was happening, you had Islamists preaching in street corners during the free plasticine marches calling for the eradication of Israel and calling for jihad and the police did nothing in fact if anything the Met Police have defended them and bent over backwards to uh, make explanations for them they infamously put that post on Twitter where they said jihad could mean anything and they just let these people walk past them in broad daylight waving the black flag of ISIS terrorists so these are just a few examples of why the public just don't trust them and why they're being critiqued so heavily and rightly so. We pay these people to keep us safe and prevent crime from happening. But when they blatantly allow crime to happen, then where does that leave us? Exactly. Now the Met Commissioner, now I would say this guy, uh, the Met Commissioner, is the head of the Metropolitan Police, but he's not. It's Sadiq Khan. He's running the show. And he is one of the main reasons why the Met Police is in such a mess. And why they're simply not trusted. The Met Police have lost control of the streets of London. They've handed it over to these uh, hate marches and um, migrant criminal gangs. And why London isn't safe anymore for anyone. So anyway, Mark uh, Rowley or Sir Mark Rowley has had a bit of a cry because people are uh, fed up with the Met Police's style of policing or the two-tier police system and fed up with him and this is what he said and I quote There aren't many professions from where the minute you arrive at an incident you are filmed and then critiqued by armchair <laughs> commentators end quote that's what he said and I've told you guys the reason why the police have been critiqued so heavily it's because they're biased they are one-sided they are a political tool used by the woke establishment and they are being used effectively for for their means their ends and their means only and it wouldn't happen if when people broke the law and his officers simply just got off their asses and arrested them then we wouldn't be in this position would we and the met police have been caught lying yet again because remember that video i did the other day of the guy who stood by and watched the uh, pro hamas it's a pro hamas terror march Nothing to do with Free Palestine or Free Plasticine whatsoever. It's a pro-Hamas terror march. None of these people have called for the release of the female Israeli hostages, which are still being held captive. So as long as they don't do that, I consider them a pro-Hamas terror march. And so this guy was waving this placard and it said Hamas are terrorists on it, which is true. Hamas are terrorists. They've been prescribed by Western governments, including the, uh, our own as being terrorists and he was just stood there uh, stating the obvious and yet the police mob handedly took him down arrested him and then they had to let him go and they did this to appease the idiots in the marches that's why they did it and so there were obvious upheavals on social media and the video evidence was overwhelming he wasn't abusing anyone he just had this sign and uh, the pro Hamas terrorist marchers didn't like it took exception and the police wanting to pander to these people took him down that's the tale of the tape that's what happened and that's why it happened so they lied they said on x that this guy was being abusive when clearly he wasn't you can see it on the video evidence folks so not only do the uh, met police pander to these people but they lie for them as well and also i'd like to point out to you as well a, a marvelous comment was made 
on my video regarding that incident where a, um, a subscriber said, Isn't it funny that the Met Police couldn't find Acid Abdul with half his face burnt off for love nor money? And yet they pinpointed Tommy Robinson within minutes as soon as they knew he was in London. Isn't that funny? So there we go. Make of that what you will. I'm Paz49. Thanks for listening. And until the next time, Roger Trout.